Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got during our half trading day of June 22, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy energy sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 7.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $39.35. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.28. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Financial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell BlackRock. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $550.35. For put option, a possible put price is at $7.09. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Prologis. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $93.17. For call option, a possible call price is at $3.81. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $64.72. For put option, a possible put price is at $4.35. Crown Castle is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 4.2%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $167.61, but we expect a possible buy price of $164.08.
In addition, we suggest to stop buying Crown Castle if it is below 2.75% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Crown Castle has a striking price at $160. For this option, the actual call price is not available, but we expect a possible call price at $9.23. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the BOLO class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy United Health Group. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 9.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $292.55. For call option, a possible call price is at $4.41. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Amgen Incorporated is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 2.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 4.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $234.69. But we expect a possible buy price of $230.23. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Amgen Incorporated If it is below 0.00% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Amgen Incorporated has a striking price at $230. For this option, the actual call price is not available. But we expect a possible call price at $6.84. United Health Group was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that United Health Group is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 3.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 9.7%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $317.83. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $286. On the call option table, United Health Group has a striking price at $285. For this option, the actual call price is not available. But we expect a possible call price at $4.41. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Caterpillar Corporation is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 2.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $125.88. But we expect a possible buy price of $122.9. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Caterpillar Corporation if it is below 0.45% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Caterpillar Corporation has a striking price at $120. For this option, the actual call price is not available. But we expect a possible call price at $5.83. General Dynamics is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 2.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.8%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $156.88, but we expect a possible buy price of $153.05. In addition, 
we suggest to stop buying General Dynamics. If it is below 5.00% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, General Dynamics has a striking price at $150. For this option, the actual call price is not available. But we expect a possible call price at $4.79. Material Sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Material Sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Ecolab Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $203.07. For call option, a possible call price is at $6.42. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Walt Disney Company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 9.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $114.41. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.62. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Netflix Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $449.76. For put option, a possible put price is at $7.75. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy PepsiCo Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $131.37. For call option, a possible call price is at $4.62. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. ST Lauder is a mild B suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.8%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $198.71. But we expect a possible buy price of $189.03. dollars In addition, we suggest to stop buying ST Lauder. If it is below 2.60% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, ST Lauder has a striking price at $185. For this option, the actual call price is not available. But we expect a possible call price at Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Intel Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 7.0%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $59.85. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.15. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Microsoft Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.3%.
you may sell it at a minimum price of $194.14. For put option, a possible put price is at $5.55. Hewlett Packard was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Hewlett Packard is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $16.93, but we expect a possible sell price of $17.06. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $16.22. On the call option table, Hewlett Packard has a striking price at $16. For this option, the actual call price is not available, but we expect a possible call price at $0.52. Communication sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Comcast Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $39.09. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.89. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. AT&T is a strong buy suggestion. It is on a bear high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $30.43, but we expect a possible buy price of $29.54. In addition, we suggest to stop buying AT&T if it is below 0.00% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, AT&T has a striking price at $29. For this option, the actual call price is not available, but we expect a possible call price at Utility sector ETF was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that utility sector ETF is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.0%. You may expect now a buy return of half a percent. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $57.91. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $57.15. On the call option table, utility sector ETF has a striking price at $56. For this option, the actual call price is not available, but we expect a possible call price at $1.36. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Dominion Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of half a percent. You may buy it at a maximum price of $83.95. For call option, a possible call price is at $3.27. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Dominion Energy is a strong buy suggestion. It is on a bear high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.3%. You may expect now a buy return of half a percent. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $83.95, but we expect a possible buy price of $82.07. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Dominion Energy if it is below 0.25% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Dominion Energy has a striking price at $82. For this option, the actual call price is not available, but we expect a possible call price at
This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good update of our half trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.